everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be pairing up movies with each personality type. If you don't know your personality type, there is a test that you can take and it's going to determine what personality you have. There are currently 16 personalities. This is used in psychology. I remember I had to take this test back when I was in college and I was like, wow, this is long, this is a long test. But honestly, it's very accurate, at least with me, with my personality. I was like, yeah, I am this. Like I said, there are 16 personalities, which means this will be a longer video. <laughs> I don't want you guys to sit through a super long video. And also, I know that some of you will skip right to your personality type. And you know, that's okay. But you will be missing out on some great movies. <laughs> All of these movies that I'm going to talk about are great and you know, if you skip, then you won't you won't know what movies I'm talking about for the other types. Okay, so for those of you who won't skip the video, thank you. Okay, now without further ado, let's start with the first personality, INTJ, aka the architect. INTJs are very independent and they don't really care about the expectations from others. Um, this means that they can go after whatever they want without fearing, you know, what other people might think. They don't really like rules and traditions. They basically like to do their own thing. They don't necessarily see social situations as something that they want to participate in because they just don't really like small talk. They prefer conversations that are deeper and relationships that are more meaningful. They are the most likely to avoid being dependent on other people. For all of those reasons, the movie that I chose is The Girl with a dragon tattoo. This movie is about a journalist who is investigating the disappearance of a woman. He seeks the help of this girl who is very unusual, she is very independent, She's she definitely does not like other people and she's always doing her own thing. I chose this movie specifically because of this character, Lisbeth Sounder. When I read this description, it just reminded me of her, especially the part about her not wanting to be dependent on other people, disliking social situations, and basically being independent. The next personality is INTP, aka the logician. INTPs are usually looking for life paths that aren't common. They like to challenge themselves in every way. They are super inventive and creative and intelligent. They are very logical and they're actually the personality type that is most likely to make a scientific discovery. For this reason, I chose the movie Hidden Figures. Hidden Figures is about a group of African-American women who were hired by NASA. They were the geniuses behind one of the greatest operations in the US and they were actually known as human computers because of how smart they were. Of course, their intellect and their inventiveness is what made me think of this movie for INTPs, but also because INTPs are likely to go through uncommon paths, and I feel like this woman did just that. During those times, it wasn't normal for African American women to be working at NASA and, you know, leading something like this, but they did it. So I think that's why this movie is perfect for INTPs. Okay, next is East. Why do I always have to pronounce things wrong? <laughs> The next personality type is ENTJ, aka the commander. They are so confident, they project so much authority that people just follow them because they're such great leaders. They really believe that they can achieve any goal that they want if they work really hard for it. The movie that I chose for this personality type is The Devil Wears Prada. I can never get tired of watching that movie. And Miranda Prisley is actually an ENTJ, according to the website. I tried to think of another one that wasn't so obvious, but I just thought this one was perfect. Now you might think that being compared to Miranda Priestly can be a good thing, but also can be a bad thing because, you know, she's supposedly, she's the villain in the story. But we all know who the real villain is in this movie. We know. Now, now you've become one of them. This movie follows Andrea, who is a new assistant at this huge magazine. And of course, she struggles under her really demanding boss. It's such a great movie. Okay, the next personality type is ENTP, aka the debater. The debaters are constantly analyzing, deconstructing ideas to get to the bottom of things. They like to see everybody's point of view, they like to get in their shoes and analyze things for themselves. Basically, they're always looking to gain more knowledge. I think the perfect movie for them would be Knives Out. Knives Out is a murder mystery and it's a really fun movie because I feel like as a debater, they would really enjoy trying to figure out who was the murderer. Basically, the whole movie is trying to figure out who did it. Their love for knowledge and them wanting to see every single side of every person I think this would be a very fun movie for them. The next personality type is INFJ, aka the advocate. 
I said that very weird. INFJs rely a lot on their imaginations, on their own personal values, on their thoughts and their dreams. And they're not just sitting there dreaming, they actually go after their goals. They love to help others, especially others that are in need. That's just what makes them happy. The movie that I chose for INFJs is her. Her is an amazing movie about a man, man, a man. I'm having difficult to speak today. I don't know why. I'm like mispronouncing everything. I don't know what's happening. Her is an amazing movie about a man named Theodore who is going through a very difficult time in his life. He's getting a divorce. He downloads this new AI technology that basically is this voice that's suddenly in his life that can talk to him and is like a computer that has a personality. The reason why I chose this movie is because I feel like Theodore is a very you know, intuitive person, he's very thoughtful, he's very quiet. His job is a very interesting one, he actually writes letters on behalf of other people. Basically, if I wanted to send a letter to my mom, I would hire him to write the letter for me. He has to get in the minds of these people and write these really heartfelt letters. And I feel like for that, you really have to comprehend the minds of other people. Yeah, I think that this movie is perfect for INFJs. The next personality type is INFP, aka the mediators. The mediators are very creative people. They're usually very quiet, but they have a huge imagination. They're always trying to find the good in everything. Sometimes they can be very shy and reserved, but when they're passionate about something, they will really show it. They usually rely on self-expression and they do this through fictional characters, fictional worlds. Something interesting that I read about this personality type is that they need at least half an hour to really wake up which I thought that was very oddly specific <laughs> the movie that I chose for INFPs is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind I feel like this movie is great for people who are usually reserved and more on the quiet side it's very imaginative there's a lot of dreaming involved and jumping around and stuff like that and I feel like that can really set off the imagination in INFPs. This movie is about a man and a woman. They have a relationship, but then she decides to have her memories of him erased from her mind. So it's a very interesting concept. I feel like INFPs would really feel identified with this movie. Ay, que calor, Jesus. Oof. The next personality that I'm gonna talk about is ENFJ, aka the protagonist. Protagonists love to guide other people in order to better themselves, better their surroundings, in order to reach a greater cause. They are great at uniting people, motivating them, and you know, leading the way. They have a lot of enthusiasm, they're very confident, and they are very influential. For these reasons, the movie that I chose is Dead Poet Society. I've talked about this movie before on my channel, I think it was in my perfect movie for each Harry Potter house. This movie is about an English teacher in a really prestigious school he really encourages his students to live their lives as it's their last day to really seize the day go after what they want he is like the perfect leader for this young man especially because some of them just feel trapped where they are they feel like they cannot be themselves he really encourages them so i think that he's the perfect protagonist i just thought this movie was a perfect fit okay so the next personality type is enfp aka the campaigner this personality type is just a free spirit they are independent they are charming they love connecting with others they don't necessarily have stability but they have a lot of creativity they enjoy their freedom they do really thrive on making emotional connections with other people and for these reasons the movie that i chose is francis ha Princess Ha is a young woman in her 20s that lives in New York. She is a dancer and she's trying to figure out her life somehow while doing what it is that she loves, which is dancing. She has this relationship with her best friend who is the most important person in, in the entire world for her. I do believe that she is a free spirit. She is independent in her own way. And like I said, she's not very stable um, financially specifically but she's so creative, she goes after what she wants. Even though she's struggling along the way, she's still making connections with people. I just think ENFPs would really enjoy Frances Ha. It's a really great movie. The next personality type is ISTJ, AKA the logistician. <laughs> logistician, yes. 
That's how you pronounce it. This personality type tends to be more reserved and sometimes they are they can be very blunt, which can be seen as them being cold, not having a lot of emotions, although this is not true. They are not really indecisive people. In fact, they know exactly what they want. They really value honesty and they don't really care for superficial things. For these reasons, the movie that I chose is 10 Things I Hate About You, aka one of the greatest movies. I love the movie so much. This movie is about two sisters, one that is very popular and the other one that just rejects everything that her sister is. Her character, Kat, is what made me think of ISTJ. Basically, she's seen at the school as this really cold person who just doesn't care about other people at the school and especially by her sister she's seen as someone who is very cold who just does whatever the heck she wants without really caring for what other people think deep down inside of course she does care she just has a little bit more trouble showing it another thing that made me think of her as an istj is that she values honesty a lot and also that she just goes after whatever she wants the next personality type that I'm going to talk about is ISFJ, aka the Defender. They are very efficient, they're very responsible, and very caring. They are sensitive and reserved, but they also have very deep um, relationships with other people. They're very kind and generous, and a fun fact that I found about this personality type is that they're the least likely personality type to manipulate other people. For these reasons, the movie that I chose is Roma. Roma was directed by Alfonso Cuaron, and it's about Cleo, who is a domestic worker at this household in Mexico in the 70s. This movie is absolutely beautiful. Cleo's personality really resonated with me when I read the description for this personality type. She's just so kind, she's so generous, and the fact that Alfonso Cuaron made this movie as an homage to his own Cleo in his life when he was a kid, I think that shows how much love was put into this movie. The next personality type is ESTJ, aka the executive. They are very traditional, they know what's right and what's wrong, they follow the rules, they're basically a model citizen, they like to bring people together, they give very good advice and guidance. I thought an interesting movie for this personality type would be The Truman Show. The Truman Show is about this man who seemingly lives this perfect life he's the perfect neighbor he's the perfect citizen he everything in his life is just picture perfect um but there's a catch and it uh, i don't want to say the catch <laughs> i feel like probably most of you guys that are seeing this have seen this movie but if you haven't i don't want to give it away but basically what jim carrey's character projects in this movie is that he is just a model citizen. Everyone likes him, everyone follows what is socially acceptable in this little world. For that reason specifically, this movie would be perfect or would be a really fun one to watch as a ESTJ. The next personality type I'm gonna talk about is ESFJ, aka the Consul. They are very social, they love people, they love guiding other people, they usually like to take the spotlight, they really care about fashion and their appearance, and they like to follow what's trendy. For all of these reasons, the perfect movie for this personality type is Clueless. I will take no other suggestions, I'm kidding, if you have another suggestion, let me know. I'm pretty sure everyone has seen Clueless, it's just a 90s classic. This movie will always be iconic from the fashion to the fact that it's so quotable, Paul Rudd being in it and the fact that he hasn't aged since then. <laughs> Cher just seems like the perfect ESFJ because of course we know she loves fashion, she loves um, keeping up with what's trendy, with her appearance, but she also loves guiding other people, especially we see that with Ty. She wants to guide her into becoming, you know, more like her, like a popular girl. The next personality type is ISTP, aka Virtuoso. Virtuoso. This personality type is very individualistic. They like to follow their personal goals without having people from the outside telling them what to do. They like to explore the world around them. They're also very hands-on. They like to learn from their environment, learn from what the world around them has to offer. And like I said, they just follow whatever their hearts desire. For this reason, I thought the perfect movie would be Into the Wild. Into the Wild is a story about Christopher McCandless who Having just graduated college, he decides he's going to go into this wild exploration or trip by himself. 
he just wants to follow his own adventure he wants to wander and see whatever he can find this is not necessarily what most people would do after college but this is what he decides to do he decides to do it alone he decides to go explore and just you know live his life learn from the environment around him eddie better did the soundtrack which i think is awesome the next personality type i'm going to talk about is isfp aka the adventurer this personality type is the one that will most likely say i'm not like other people and it's true they're really not they're very unique they like to do their own thing they don't really like to follow the rules necessarily they're always on the search for new adventures new perspectives new ideas they are very sensitive to other people's feelings but they can also really lose their temper for these reasons the movie that i chose is moonrise kingdom specifically the main character susie she's a kid who we know for sure she's struggling at her house um, she decides to run away with this kid named Sam that she just met or well she's been corresponding with him and they decide to run away she goes out into this new adventure not really knowing what's going to happen but knowing that she really likes Sam um, she can really get along with him as we have seen in the movie she can also really lose her temper as well so all of these characteristics um, of ISFP really reminded me of Susie also, Moonrise Kingdom is one of my favorites by Wes Anderson. It's really beautiful, so I really recommend you watch it if you still haven't. The next personality type is ESTP, aka the Entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs are always going towards new opportunities. They're very energetic and intelligent. They really like to be the center of attention. They often plan and do. Don't really think about it. They just really throw themselves out there and they do whatever it is that they want. Sometimes this can be good and sometimes it can be bad because if you don't think enough about what you're gonna do, you don't know if it's gonna turn out. But ESTPs, they are just go-getters. For these reasons, I thought the perfect movie would be, of course, The Wolf of Wall Street. It's about Jordan Belfort who works at Wall Street. He founds his own firm and he builds it from the ground up. Gets really carried away by, you know, the power, the money, and he goes from being this really go-getter young man into this you know power hungry person but besides that i'm not saying that all of estps are like this obviously it's a movie and it's everything well it was based on real life it's a really fun movie um and i think that estps would really enjoy it i also thought of a tv show that would be perfect for this and it's the marvelous mrs maisel and i think mrs maisel is such a go-getter she really does things without thinking of the consequences she goes on stage she does her jokes even when she's like super drunk because being a comedian is what she wants and she will do it i think her personality is very estp we have one more personality left it's esfp aka the entertainer these people love life, they love new experiences, they love to be social and engaging with other people. They're very spontaneous, they love having a group of friends and just getting together with them, having fun with their friends. They are the most likely to just break out in, in song randomly. For all of these reasons, I chose a movie that is just pure happiness and it's Mamma Mia. This movie, like I said, is just pure serotonin, you know? It's one of those movies that I don't care whoever you are it will bring you happiness unless you don't like musicals but why wouldn't you like musicals mamma mia the story mamma mia <laughs> the story of a young woman who is going to get married but she doesn't know who her father is there's three possibilities and she invites all three of them to greece to her wedding <laughs> without the knowledge of her mom. So, you know, they all break into song and dance, trying to figure out who the father is. All of the songs are by ABBA. Like I said, this movie is just pure happiness. Mamma Mia 2, which came out a couple years ago, is also just pure happiness. <laughs> There's just no way that you can't enjoy this movie. Okay, guys, we did it! As always, suggestions are welcome. If you don't think that the movie that I chose is the right for your personality type, then please let me know of another movie that you think would be suit better. Also, a fun little... What's the word? What's the word? Challenge. <laughs> Just like my zodiac sign video, I challenge you guys to guess what my zodiac sign is and almost no one guessed it. <laughs> Um, but I want you guys to guess what my personality type is. I think this one would be a lot easier probably to guess. If you think you know, let me know down below and I will share the answer on my Instagram, on my latest photo. Okay, with that said, thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I will go now. I'm very hot. Goodbye. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>